Hello guys, my name is Amar Wolf and welcome to Amar Guitar. Today I'm gonna show you new gear in my studio, which is Panorama CS12 channel strip controller for Logic. I'm going to show you some functionalities inside, which I use a must. So let's go through it. So I'm gonna turn it on. At the same time, Logic is open with my project, which is cover song I did uh, for Instagram. So now, as you can see, it's loaded, open the selected track. As you can see here in Logic, I have just two tracks, guitar solo and backing track. And here is selected track is the guitar solo. You can see here each plugin I'm using in this track. I can go inside each plugin. At the same time, it's open here in Logic, the panel of it. If I want to close it, I can close it and adjust here each parameter inside. So I found this really cool, especially the colors also. Like for example, here the red, the blue, and here at the same time blue, so you know exactly what you are changing. For example, here the limiter, I'm adjusting it. And all the time the focus stay like on the corner, I'll show you with the big, you can see it's huger and bigger. So it's readable, you know. And if I want to go out back and change, for example, to the second track, I can here easily change to the second track and stay the name at the top backing track. I can do the same, go inside, for example, the channel equalizer. Both open both way, like on logic, the panel of it. And here I can adjust it also on this on, and see on the small screen, for example, here adjust that. I can go inside here, change the band, for example, the analyzer or go back. Here, motorized fader. It's usually just the for, for the volume of the track. And if you do it here automatically, as you can see on Logic, it's, it's moved also. And the same way around, for example, if I adjust it here, it also motorized and moved. You can solo each track. You can mute it. And the cool thing here with select, I can select the track and can adjust the automation for that. For example, I can do it here, like I will click on the auto and adjust here with this. And I can say, I want to have single point fader, for example, I select it. And then I would say, I want to have a point here, can put this to adjust if I want it forward or backwards and i can with the big fader here i can just touch and drag it down for example and leave it as you can see here now it moved so i can set as much point as i want here here with the big fader here just with one touch drag it down or drag it up so it works it's really cool uh, i can go out from the select mode for example, I can use here the selection. So select the start point and last point. And I can loop it, for example, here, start it. And as you can see here, because we played a little bit with the automation of the volume, it moves up and moves down by itself as motorized. So I found this really cool and helpful. can stop it here and you can do a lot of stuff with it so i found it's really helpful it wasn't hard to install the driver and so on just you have to create account on the website and it will ask you you want to use it for which software if you want to use it for logic cubase mixer craft and so on to be honest with you i haven't tried with the cubase or with any other software, just I'm using it for logic. It works 
great. I don't have any problem with that. Just I recommend to use USB-C. Usually it's included USB-C to normal USB, but it would cause some problem, some kind of latency. So I would suggest just to use USB-C to C, no hub. It looks really great and it's nice on the on your recording station or in this in the studio it's really look cool and really helpful and it's not complicated that they said to use it it has auto assign for logic so just uh, after you install this uh, driver for logic it directly it will map everything for you so you don't need to worry about mapping each knob or bottom or whatever no do it automatically for you so i hope that was helpful for you guys thank you for watching if you have any question please let me know and enjoy your time bye bye